as we all know. The announcement comes as banks prepare to announce big annual bonuses for executives. President Obama says not so fast. The U.S. federal government wants its share, too. We want our money back, and we're going to get it. The president is demanding a fee to be placed on profiting banks that received federal money from the Troubled Asset Relief Fund, or TARP, and he lashed out. My commitment is to the taxpayer. My commitment is to recover every single dime the American people are owed. And my determination to achieve this goal is only heightened when I see reports of massive profits and obscene bonuses at some of the very firms who owe their continued existence to the American people. The financial crisis responsibility fee would generate an approximate $120 billion by charging the nation's biggest banks over a 10-year span. But there are fears that taxpayers could still lose out because of banks that may pass the charges on to consumers. All corporate taxes are passed on to consumers and consumers at these banks, or if you have a credit card from these banks, you might very well see higher fees, less interest on your deposits, uh, other things. The proposed fee on banks with at least $50 billion in assets would have to be approved by Congress. The Obama administration wants to recoup money lost from large banks that benefited from receiving TARP funding, the federal money that allowed them to survive during the economic crisis. The issue has been frustrating for the White House that has seen banks dole out large executive compensation bonuses, but at the same time tighten up on consumer credit lending. Something that President Obama warned against. If these companies are in good enough shape to afford massive bonuses, they are surely in good enough shape to afford paying back every penny to taxpayers. Consumers are also upset, often citing bailouts as the reason for current dissatisfaction with the government. President Obama's poll numbers have been hit, dipping to as low as 46 percent. And even this program may not be enough to restore public confidence. I actually think they're smarter than that, and they'll see, you know, how counterproductive and, uh, and hypocritical th uh, this is. The fee is expected to be included in the White House's fiscal 2011 budget proposal set for release early next month. Colin Campbell, the White House.